who do I think I am to be a speaker or to talk to this audience on this thing? One of the things to remember here is that being an expert means that you know slightly more than the audience about a certain subject or topic. You don't have to be the world's greatest expert on it. I know nothing about cars. I am completely clueless when it comes to cars. When I take my car to the local mechanic to get an oil change, whoever's working on my car, to me, like that person's the expert. Now, are they the world's greatest expert on cars? No, I know that. They know that. But I'm not looking for the world's greatest expert. I'm looking for this one person that can help me change my oil who knows slightly more about cars than I do. I come to you and I say, you seem to know a lot about golf. Can you give me some recommendations on my swing or what ball to use or what simulator to get or what clubs I need? Can you give me some tips? Do you feel like you're the world's greatest expert on golf? No. Nope. But really, your opinion of yourself means nothing because it's really more in the eye of the beholder. I am someone who's going, Brian golfs a lot. He seems to know what he's doing. He shoots good scores. I would like to do that too. How do I do that? You're not the world's greatest golfer. We both know that. There's plenty of people that know more about it. There's plenty of people that you look to that you're like, oh, if you want help on this, this is who you actually need to be listening to. But I don't know those people and I'm not connected with those people and I'm not looking to those people. I'm looking to you. So the same thing is true with any of these things. You don't have to be the world's greatest expert on it. 